Welcome to ZSL's Wild Science, the show which looks at how groundbreaking science is coming to the rescue of some of the most endangered animal species on the planet. My name's Sam and this week we're going to be looking at how scientists from ZSL are using new innovative technology to learn more about this little guy. These are the critically endangered pygmy three-toed sloth, the smallest and slowest sloth in the world, who live on the uninhabited Escudo Island in Panama. Due to their endangered status and evolutionary distinctiveness, ZSL's Edge of Existence program is working to ensure the conservation of this species. These sloths were first scientifically described as recently as 2001, therefore so much about their behaviour and the way they use their habitat is a mystery. As they can only be found on this tiny island, which measures just 4.3 kilometres squared, monitoring this population effectively and gaining more of an insight into their abundance and behaviour is crucial to ensuring their survival. Fortunately, ZSL scientists are leading the way in the latest animal monitoring technology, and today I'm meeting Dr Robin Freeman, the head of the Indicators and Assessment Unit at ZSL's Institute of Zoology. So Robin, firstly, why is it so important to monitor animals like the pygmy three-toed sloth? So it's really important for us to monitor animals like the pygmy three-toed sloth because understanding the behaviour and uh, movement of animals in the wild is a key feature in trying to understand their risk of extinction. Can you tell us something about the new technology being developed for this project? Yeah, so here in the Institute of Zoology we're developing these Mataki tags which are a tracking technology that can record movement and behaviour but can also transmit that automatically to other devices in the field. And one of the really important things about these devices is they're open source and they're low cost because what we want to do is remove barriers to people being able to use these in a variety of projects around the world. We're here in the rainforest biome at ZSL London Zoo today where I believe you were here with the keepers to try and trial this technology. Yeah, so uh, what we did is on some of the sloths here, we were trialling different attachment mechanisms uh, to see how, how impactful they were on the animals to ensure that we had a very low impact attachment so that when we went to the field, we didn't have any impact on the wild animals. And then this technology was taken out to Panama. Yeah, so we took it to uh, Escudo in Panama to attach to the pygmy three-toed sloths, where these sloths were uh, located in the field, captured, weighed, assessed for putting the devices on, because we want to only put them on animals that would be able to cope, and then they were released into the wild uh, to look at their behaviour. These sloths are supposedly the slowest in the world, so why are they so challenging to monitor? So with, with a whole bunch of animals, including these sloths, uh, it's often the environment that makes it so logistically complicated to get these devices on. So whether it's getting to the animals or getting them back, we need devices that can automatically give us that data without us having to recapture the animals. What sort of things are you hoping to learn from this new technology? What we're hoping to learn is how their behaviour changes over time and how that relates to the environment they find themselves in because that will give us a better picture of how environmental change or habitat degradation might impact these animals in the future. Are these the only species that this technology is being used to monitor? No, we're using the technologies like this to monitor a whole variety of species from trying to understand the movements and distribution of seabirds to the behaviour of tigers to trialling these on marine species like turtles. And finally, how important is the collaborative element on a project like this? One of the things that's really exciting about working here in London Zoo is we have the opportunity to work with living collections to ensure that we have minimal impact on the animals in the collection and understand their behaviour, but then to take that technology out to the field with conservation programmes to understand the behaviour for the science we do in the Institute. So that's how the new technology being developed by ZSL scientists will give conservationists on the ground, such as those from the Edge of Existence programme, crucial insights into the behaviour of this secretive sloth and ultimately, it's going to help identify priority areas for pygmy sloth conservation on Escudo. Click subscribe to keep up to date with our wild science episodes and check out some of our other science videos below.